Of the disqualified nominees, two were seeking to run as independent candidates, while three sought to contest on the tickets of some political parties. The two independent presidential nominees are Kofi Kranting and Marek Kofi Gan. Mr. Gan is said to have submitted falsified signatures of persons who purportedly endorsed his nomination forms. 19 of the persons who purportedly endorsed Kofi Kranting's nomination were also found to be executives of the Convention People's Party, CPP. The two have not just been disqualified from the presidential contest, but also face prosecution. Mr. Kofi Gane was the 12th person to file his nominations with the commission. There were no IT issues. However, the technical team found that a number of the signatures of many supporters followed the same pattern. And this was his, the signatures were referred to the CID division of the Ghana Police Service. And the police has confirmed that indeed a good number of the signatures were fake. The eighth candidate to present his nomination forms to the commission was Mr. Kofi Kranting. The technical team noticed that 19 persons who had allegedly supported the CPP candidate had also supported Mr. Kofi Kranting. A further check revealed that these persons had not endorsed the candidate. Indeed, the CPP wrote to the commission about the issue, indicating that these persons were executives of their party. The technical team found that the signatures of these 19 persons were fake. And the matter was referred to the CID Department of the Ghana Police Service. The CID did confirm that these signatures were fake. The candidate has therefore been disqualified and the commission would forward this issue to the police for further action. The three political party sponsored nominees who have been disqualified are Akwesi Adai Odike of the United Progressive Party, UPP, Kwesi Busumbru of the People's Action Party, PAP, and Nana Ejinim Boateng of the United Front Party, UFP. These three also face prosecution for forgery. Mr. Busumbru was found to have no registered voter endorsing him from the Greater Accra region, while Mr. Odike and Mr. Ejinim Boateng were found to have forged signatures. Mr. Kwesi Busumbru of the PAP was the 14th person to file his nomination forms with the commission. There were no IT issues. However, the candidate failed to provide supporters for some districts in the greater Accra region and had incomplete data for a number of his supporters. Indeed, some of the supporters were not registered voters in the area of authority of the district assembly to which they endorsed his candidature, and there are a good number of them. The technical team also noted that the same persons, although they had endorsed for him on the, on the four separate forms, had different signatures. And this was in the case of Ashanti and Northeast regions. This was referred to the CID division of the Ghana Police Service, and they noted that the signatures were fake and he has been disqualified from participating and contesting in the 2020 presidential election. The Electoral Commission Chairperson, Jean Mensa has however advised critics of her administration to seize their onslaught against the Commission. Describing them as naysayers, Madame Mensa assured all stakeholders that the process will be free, fair and transparent. We entreat the naysayers to seize their onslaught of trying to discredit a thorough and credible process and try their onslaught of trying to discredit a commission that has been open and transparent and accountable to the people that it serves, that is the good people of this country. If for nothing at all, the current commission has opened up all its processes to the public and removed the cloaks of secrecy that shrouded our activities and operations in the past.